Uh, you would see him at events all around town. This guy right here, he was a friend of our show. Chopper the biker dog went to military gatherings, holiday events, and he even visited sick people in the hospital. Unfortunately, his owner tells us Chopper died this morning after battling Cushing's disease and cancer. CBS 8's Kelly Hestall is live in Sorrento Valley with tributes going out to Chopper today. Kelly? That's right, and a motorcade escorted by police brought Chopper from his home in La Mesa to this pet cemetery here in Sorrento Valley. Now, Chopper had a big impact on this community. Anytime there was a major event, Chopper was there. Now, we talked to Chopper's dad earlier today, who told me he hopes this is his legacy. I just want people to remember him in a positive way. You know, the positive things that he's done. You know, I, I get messages and emails from people all over the world telling me stories of how he's impacted their life. Whether they're having a bad day and they see his post and it brightens them up. They may be going through something difficult with family members. And there were about 30 cars and motorcycles who made a final ride in Chopper's honor, escorting uh, Chopper's dad, Mark, and Chopper to the Sorrento Valley Pet Cemetery. People were crying, they were hugging. Uh, Mark tells us Chopper died early this morning at the age of 12. Now, he had been battling cancer as well as Cushing's disease. Over the years, he's visited sick children in the hospital. He's attended fundraisers for cancer. He's volunteered at homeless shelters. Every year during the holidays, I would see him at Golden Hall for their annual Thanksgiving meal for families in Need. Uh, he would ride in on his motorcycle and people would smile. But it wasn't just people here in San Diego who were impacted by him. He had 124,000 followers on Facebook. People from all over the world checked out his posts daily. Thousands have commented, sending their condolences. Now, among the people we spoke to today here in Sereno Valley, the La Mesa Police Chief Ray Sweeney, as well as Jillian Larson. Now, she's part of a nonprofit and she also takes part in the Komen Walk and says for years, Chopper has cheered on the walkers just to pay tribute and honor him for all he's done for thousands and thousands of people. Chopper Kisses have probably healed more people than we know. Chopper shows up to every event. Uh, he's there for Shop of the Cop. He's there for everything that we have. He has been for many years. Uh, Mark brings him out there and he brings smiles to everybody's faces. And we lose a law enforcement officer in the line of duty or go through some rough times. Chopper's there to give us a little kiss and make us feel better. And Chopper's dad says that he wants to thank the community for the outpouring of support, not just for today, but along Chopper's entire journey. Carlo and Heather. Kelly, I can't tell you how many events I've been at over the years that I've seen yeah. Chopper there bringing smiles <laughs> to everyone. Uh, Mark, of course, making this all happen. What inspired him to get Chopper so involved, to get him out there to, to do this? Yeah. Well, he said, you know, he always thought it was important to get involved in the community. So he was hoping by getting Chopper involved, that would inspire others to get involved with the community. One thing he says he hears a lot is that people will contact him and say that they've gotten their dogs into becoming therapy dogs because of Chopper, which, of course, makes him so proud. Uh, he says that, you know, here these people are paying it forward, having their dogs spread love to others in the community the same way that Chopper did. All right, Kelly Hassadali certainly was a hero right here in San Diego. Kelly, thanks. Yeah, and our hearts go out to Mark today. Yeah, he, we know it meant so much to him personally, obviously, so we're thinking about you. Yeah, if you've ever lost a pet, oh, you can yeah. certainly relate to the heartbreak there. It's tough.